Hi, it's Janelle with Parsnips and Parsimony, and today's video is about menu planning for the month of March. I will be doing a whole month of menu planning videos, one video each week, and I'm using a new book, a new meal planner called Life in Apples, The Meal Planner. I've never actually had a dedicated book just for meal planning with baby Daniel being a month old and just trying to juggle a whole newborn life and everything that involves with that. Meals are such a huge part of our family's life. Because we have a large family, I like to cook most of our food from scratch. So our meals are a huge part of my everyday life right now. So having it written out and planned ahead will make my life a little bit easier. So what you're going to be seeing is what I've planned out for the menu for this the first week of March. So as with any plan, I suspect things will probably change as we go along. And some of the things we won't end up cooking because we might have more leftovers or less leftovers, but it's just a plan is going to allow me the flexibility of knowing what's supposed to be on the menu. And if any of the kids want to know what they can do to help, they can look at the menu and say, hey, I can help out with this. So here's what's on my menu. For dinner tonight, we have some leftover barbecue chicken, a little bit of rice, broccoli, fresh salad, and then a nice orange. bars are all done and one of my favorite ways to top them is with a little bit of peanut butter and then a banana yum Charity helped make the pizza. We kind of ran into a little bit of a snafu because we ran out of white flour. So we ended up using all whole wheat, which makes this a little bit more of a shaggy type of crust, um, but it's just as delicious. And that's going to be part of our lunch today. Ew. Ew. Good. Get it really well coated. Get it under here. That's good. Okay. And you just, we're just gonna very gently, doesn't have to make sure all the breadcrumbs are everywhere. But we don't want to get it gooey. So like this, Pete. Watch. All you do is 
Okay. There, because we don't really want to make it, you know, rub it all over. Because then now I'll take the crumbs off. Yes. Oops. I thought we used mayonnaise when we made it. Oh, it's a different recipe. Okay. It's always good. Remember when Grandma cuts these open, puts cheese sticks and amends them mm -hmm. back together with toothpicks? And then it melts inside. Can Doesn't it taste it so good with that? All that's left is to cook this, and I've got about an hour and a half before I need to cook it, so I'm just gonna put this back in the refrigerator, just like this, and then when I'm ready, I'll pop it in the oven. We're having Italian chicken, rice, green beans, and homemade applesauce, and the green beans actually came from our garden. We canned those last year, and that's our dinner for tonight. Tonight's dinner consists of lettuce, apples, baked ziti, some fresh garlic bread, and a little bit of broccoli. I did not end up getting the meatloaf made today. That was on my menu plan, but we decided we were just gonna do leftovers tonight, and do the leftovers we have lots of. So we've got lots of chicken here, and then a little baked ziti, some lentils, some rice, some salad, <laughs> pancakes. Huh. Just, it's a smorgasbord, but this will clean out the refrigerator and we can start fresh next week. I hope you enjoyed some of the quick peeks of the food that we enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in for our next video next week of next week's menu plan. And be sure to give this a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to our channel where I'll be posting more videos like these. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.